Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus especially. I have no idea what's going on with these cards tonight. I do not know. They just, they're telling everybody's business. Basically, what's going on with you guys? Seven of Cups, High Priestess, Nine of Coins, Nine of Swords, Hermit. Some of you could be dealing with Earth sign possibly. You could be dealing with a, new, a number of signs, to be honest. Let's not go there. The thing is, you're asking yourself, you, you wonder if this person knows how you can get down if you want to. The thing is, this person doesn't know that and you're keeping that to yourself. See, with the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess, you could have options if you want. You could take them and leave them. Nobody would even know. You could be a full out hoe and they wouldn't even know. But you've been chilling. All right, you've been chilling. You've been keeping to yourself. You're good on your own. With the Nine of Swords and the Hermit, it's like you're not even stressing yourself out that much either. Because the Nine of Swords usually talks about, you know, a person staying up at night and all this other stuff. But for the most part, I think somebody's trying to cause you a little bit of grief, but you're not going to go there. It's to the point where with this Six of Wands, the King of Wands, the Three of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, like the way how you feel, you got that ex that's been calling you back and you could go there if you wanted to. Except you know if you went back to your ex or whoever, it would just be a hit it and quit it type situation because you're not in for the, what's it they say? I'm here for a good time. I'm not here for a long time. Something like that. You know you just would be hitting it and quitting it. So I don't know if this is like your current person that if they think they want to be running around creeping on you or something like that, thinking they're doing you something, kind of like that whole one-up type thing, you're not with that. You see with the Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Strength card. Oh my gosh, Strength card. This is Leo showing up in his own reading. I like that. The thing is, with these two cards right here, you could dip at any possible moment. They would not know. They would not even see it coming. Like the day you decide to get up and go, when you make up your mind, when you're not resisting it, because in part, this is you still being somewhat stubborn and whatnot. But I mean, you see it coming, but you know, somebody's going to get left. Somebody's going to get put out in the cold. Queen of Swords five of coins you just haven't decided on that day yet but at the end of the day i think it's like someone is just trying you they're testing your bs level you know what i mean you're not having it with the star card king of swords knight of coins it's like any day now two of coins five of cups that's the only reason why you haven't made certain decisions yet is because you know it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt both y'all it's gonna hurt, hurt you both. And you're still dragging your feet on that decision. But at the end of the day, you know what time it is. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it short, straight to the point. No BS, no nothing like that. Like whatever it is, you just watching somebody and trying to see how far they think they're gonna get, right? Have a good night, Leo.